though. But it's not forever, right? Of course not, sweetie. I just need some time to explore my options. It's like when I tell you to keep drawing. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Or smarter at it. Exactly. Going back to school will allow me to find a better paying job. I'll buy us nicer things, afford a bigger place to live. But I don't want to leave, Anna. We live here. I grew up here. This is and always will be my home. I know, sweetie, but I can't leave you here. You're a minor. It's illegal, for starters. Aunt Maggie and Uncle Jeremy will take good care of you. You can come visit me every day if you like. Remember the story I told you of Mom and Dad's apricot tree? Yeah. You said it was the only living thing in that house. I never told you my last memory of it. Dad put me on his shoulders to pick the last apricot from that tree. You want to know where that riddle came from? You were saying goodbye. With you, I'm a full-grown, round, orange apricot. But sometimes, that seed of an apricot needs to go off and grow elsewhere. On her own. For the best. I love you, Susie, but if you stay with me while I'm in school full time... I know. You won't have time to look after me. I'm sorry, Susie. No. It's okay. Really. You've done a lot ever since they left us. Mom and Dad. To me, they never were. I'm not stupid, Anna. I know that Mom and Dad didn't want us. They never cared for us. No. I know about their illnesses and drugs. You're my mom, Anna. You always have been. Thank you. Thank you. For never losing hope in us. I love you, Susie. I love you too, Anna. Apricots, apricots, I love you. Apricots, apricots, I love you. Yes, I do. Thank you.